everybody. I'm Nikki Tedesco and I'm a bass player and songwriter. And I'm going to show you today how easy it is to use Restream to stream to multiple channels at once. And what I mean by that is YouTube, Facebook, personal page, Facebook group, Facebook business page. I'm just going to demo those three right now. And then you'll also see chats get aggregated from all of those places to all of the other channels. So it's very powerful, it's super cool, it's very easy, and I'm gonna show you how to do all that. Okay, so let me tell you what happened. I start, When I started live streaming, I don't know if you've done this, but I had my phone here, my laptop here, my iPad here, and I was trying to talk to each channel and, and, and talk to this guy and wave at this person and say hello to that one, and they couldn't talk to each other, so they didn't know what I was saying to the other people, so everyone felt disconnected. And so I have a pretty tight-knit bass community, and I really want them to be able to talk to each other because they chat amongst themselves even while I'm performing. This was really important to me to have this aggregated chat feature, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so there's a few things that you need. Right now, I don't have a special camera, I'm using my built-in camera that's part of my computer. Also, another thing was I needed to be able to stream from my computer because I needed really good sound. So I have a mixer and, and all this other music equipment that I needed to incorporate, and I just couldn't do that from my phone. Now, you don't need all this other equipment. You don't need the mixer and everything else, but I'm using that for my own purposes. So my goal and my needs were to be able to stream from my one computer into multiple channels. Okay, so that was my goal and I'm sure that's you guys' goal too. That's why you're watching this video. Since I'm using a Mac, I'm using Ecamm Live to stream. The next thing, I have a Restream.io membership. So they have different tiers. They have a free tier, entry level tier that allows you to do some really cool things and then if you need to kind of go to the next level, then they have a next level tier. I'm showing you the second level tier and that's how you're able to stream to a personal Facebook page and a business page as well as the other channels. It's really important to do that right now because Facebook is enhancing their live stream capabilities on their platform. Another thing is on your business page, you're able to run ads to increase viewership on your channel, to get more subs, to get more viewers, to get more likes and da da da. And on your personal page, you can't run ads. That's why you really need to be able to stream on a Facebook business page as well as a personal page. So let's get right to it. I'm using the Restream IO, my profile, my membership, okay? I'm using Ecamm Live to stream. And then I'm using another piece of software called Restream Chat, and that is how I'm aggregating all the chats. So let me go ahead and show you that. I'm on Restream IO right here. Here's the website. I'm just gonna type it in so you can see the link and I'm also going to put it in the description box. So first, this is how easy it is. You're gonna add a channel. Let's add our Facebook channel. Connect Facebook. Bam, done, save. I have other channels, I have them turned off right now for this demo. Okay, so we're gonna add another Facebook Live, but this time I'm going to choose my music page. Okay, and the ability to do these two at once is that second tier that I was telling you about. Okay, I'm gonna add another channel. I'm gonna use YouTube Stream Now. There's YouTube Events and <laughs> YouTube Stream Now. YouTube Events is a little more customized where you can do your own thumbnails and you can set your latency rate. You can put in the description box in advance. Another cool thing about YouTube Events is you can schedule in advance so that your viewers get there before the live stream starts so that you can start your stream with an audience already there. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to be going to stream now so that I don't have to set up some other background things. Okay, so we'll do YouTube stream now. Log in, then you have to give Restream access. All right, so that's it. That was easy, right? Now in update titles, you click on this. Okay, so I'm going to do Restream demo update. You can put a description box in here as well and those are all, you can put clickable links in there and those will end up being part of your description on your Facebook page or YouTube. Whatever channel you're on, it will add the description there. You can also update all titles at once with one description. Then you have the social alerts tab and this one is where you can tweet and you can, you can do an alert on your Facebook page. I also have a Discord server so whenever I go live it's going to send out an alert there. And then you can put the information here. These are links to my actual YouTube channel. So 
I didn't change anything there. I'm not going to update. I just wanted to show you how that works. Okay, simple, right? So now let's move over to Restream Chat. I know this seems like a lot, but you only have to do this once, and then it's it's always set up. The only thing you have to change are the titles. You don't have to, but you can. Okay, so now what I want to show you here is this. Okay, so this is Restream Chat. This is an application that I have installed. It's attached to my Restream account. So now when you click on Embed and Stream, this is what I want to show you. This is really important. So it's going to open this tab. There's many different tabs over here where you can customize certain things, but I'm just going to show you the ones that are important to this demo, right? So the embed and stream, this is where you're going to choose what your chat box looks like. And this is where you can overlay it onto your screen. So this is where every single comment aggregated from everywhere is going to show up on this box that you can then have as an overlay on your scene. You can also still have the chats aggregated, but you can choose which chats you bring on screen, and that's usually through your streaming software. So since I'm not demoing Ecamm Live, I'm not gonna show you that. I'm just gonna show you what's available in Restream. Most of these are gaming themes, but I picked Comic because I think it's cute. I wanted the text really large. <laughs> and then you can change the opacity. You can see the background, things like that. Okay, so that's it. And then you copy this. You just make it part of your scene. Easy. Okay, so next I'm going to go to bot. This is really important. Click on relay mode. This is what allows the aggregation of the chats from multiple locations into one so you can see it. And it also aggregates those chats from the one platform to the other. So if you're on Facebook, you can see what someone on YouTube said. If you're on YouTube, vice versa. Now, my Discord server is set up here. It's not necessary to have, but I use that so I can do musical collaborations. Here's another cool feature. You can go into reply commands, and then you can have automated chat timers, you know, at any interval that you want pop up in the chat. And so these are clickable links to whatever you want to send the user to. You want to send them to buy your album, then you put a link there. <laughs> okay, so next on the about section, one important thing is that you need to set your personal profile to public and you need to set your business pages to public also. If you don't know how to do that, you click on this little arrow and it will show you a video on how to do that. That's all you got to do with that. And so now let's go live so you can see the chats getting aggregated. Are you ready? Okay, let's do this. Okay, are you ready to see how easy this is? Okay, so now I'm in Ecamm. This is basically my screen in Ecamm. I'm going to click on, I was in record only mode, but you just go Restream IO. And what this does is this redirects to Restream IO consults Restream IO with all the channels that we set up, and now it's gonna go to all those channels. So let's go Restream IO. Okay, so now it's ready. Also, I could just go to one of these channels at a time, but who wants to do that? I want to go to multiple channels at once. That's the whole point. Okay, and then you just click Go Live, okay? So I'm switching to my screen that has my chat overlay box. You'll see it pop up in a second. And this has all of my branding Here's the chat overlay box that's popping up. If you didn't have this overlaid on your screen, you would just see it in the Restream software that you would have on another screen. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go live. <laughs> oh, see there it popped up. So now this is going to be a clickable link that is available to every channel that we're posting to. We are live now. <laughs> okay, so. Right now we're live on Facebook. We're live on my Facebook business page, which is a music page. We're live on my YouTube channel. And the reason I'm doing this video right now, there's, there's not gonna be any music tonight. Don't get too excited, you guys. I'm doing this because I'm doing a video to show how easy it is to stream to multiple channels at once using Restream. And so if you are watching on YouTube, send a little hello so we can know that you're coming in from YouTube. If you're on Facebook, send a little hello. Oh, we've got seven people already. Hi, everybody. Hi, I'm doing a demo for Restream to show you all how easy it is to stream to multiple channels at once. So just say hello from wherever you're at. So we got somebody on Facebook saying hi. We got Rich on Facebook saying hi. I hope you don't mind that you're going to be part of a video. <laughs> so don't say hi if you're, if you're worried about being part of a video. Hi, Bubba Bass is here. Hello. So see how you can tell that we've got people from Facebook. We've got people from YouTube. Hey, Aaron. 
we've got people from Facebook. See how cool that is? So we've got people from my Facebook business page. We've got people from my Facebook personal page and from my YouTube channel chatting here. So that is what I wanted to show you. This is so cool. Okay, so good. We've got multiple people from YouTube, from Facebook on all my channels that I set up in my Restream IO website, and they are all being promoted and streamed and aggregated into one place. Now again, you can overlay this onto your video so that everyone can see it on the video, but if you don't want that for your rebroadcast, then you can just have it in the application, which is the Restream chat application I showed you guys before, and then that's where you can see all the chats being aggregated, and you can chat back and forth to them as well. So that's all I wanted to show you guys. Hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to disconnect from my live stream right now, but I will see you all on Saturday at 1 and 7 Pacific Standard Time with 10 freaking bases, and I'm going to play them all. So I'll see you guys all then. See you later. Bye, lovies. Okay, so click finish. End broadcast. Okay, okay so, so that's, that's all Ecamm stuff that I just showed you guys as far as like clicking finish and clicking end broadcast, but it's probably similar in whatever streaming software you're using, right? And so, like I said, this is important, the destination restream IO, that's, that's basically what you do. I'm just going to repeat what I just did. We set up restream IO on the website. We have a membership on restream IO. So we go there, we attach our channels, right? We log into all of our channels and give our channels, um, we give Restream access to our channels, okay? And then we go to, we install the Restream chat, and then in there we set up, you know, whatever we want to use. We don't really have to use any of that, but I like to, you know, overlay it because then it just really gets my audience engaged. And then you have your streaming software, which of course, like OBS or Ecamm Live. And then so those three things together, now you're streaming everywhere. That's all the overhead you have to do. And even though it might, may seem like, you know, a few multiple steps, you only do that one time. And then each time that you go live, all you do is maybe sit, change the title, change something in the description, and that's it. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you all enjoyed that. So let me go to another screen. So now I, I just took the chat box off the screen so that we could talk in private. <laughs> So I just wanted to show you how easy it is to stream to multiple channels using Restream.io. It is such a powerful tool. It is so cool. I couldn't do all this stuff if I didn't have Restream. It has completely changed the game for me. And it's also helped me through the aggregated chats, engage my audience, and build like a community. And ever since I've done this, I've gotten more patrons, and I've just gotten more people involved in my channel, my channels and gotten more fans and it's just really helped me expand my community which is ultimately what I wanted to do and people love live streaming because they love that like personal engagement and I've even noticed that even though they can watch the read broadcast and some people do it's when you go live that's where the excitement is because people feel like they're there with you and that you and you can interact with them and talk to them especially through the chat so I hope this was a helpful video and I wish you the best of luck. Happy streaming, you guys, and I will see you next time.
笑。